Oh wow, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. I clicked the join button and it, was, it happened immediately. It all happened so fast. So now, here we are. And we got some choices here. We got an upheaval. Got a volcanic island. A violand, if you will. <clears throat> we have... Do, 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 do. This pack is it's pretty, pretty rough. Do you just want to go upheaval? Ancient Tomb, also an option here. Oh, what up, Leo Vold, commenter of the YouTubes? Uh, I think we're just taking upheaval here. I feel like it's... I'm going to take Volcanic Island. I want to keep myself open and draft some good lands for once. I like a mind twist. I could see Grixis. Grixis also lets us play Cruel Ultimatum if we get it. I'm going to take Mind Twist here. And then I'm going to cross my fingers for... There was also a bunch of cards in that pack. Express Iteration, Ponder. Um, there's one in the upper in the upper right that I liked a lot. What was it? Atali. If you see me, draft me. <laughs> Solid. All right, we got our Grixis deck. What are we taking here? Call the Ring? Seems good. If Dark Slick and Graven Cairns come back, I'd be very thrilled. Um, I think Call is just really good. Um, hello. Katie, Katie always heads into the chat like an old woman uh, answering the phone for the first time. Yeah, I'm going to take call here. It goes better with Mind Twist, and we don't know if Volcanic Island's really going to lead to anything, but I, I hope it does. Ooh, Gold Span New Dragon. Also, Thief of Sanity. I think Thief of Sanity is a little easier to cast here. I'm going to take the Thief of Sanity. This, this pack is stacked. If Subtlety, Factor Fiction, Days, Snuff Out, or Goldspan Dragon come back, I'll be thrilled. Uh, I, I I don't think I see a reason to be take a half-color Talisman when there's so many good picks in the pack, especially if we're three colors. I think our odds of getting an on-color Talisman that's both of our colors is much better. Oh, we got a Splinter Twin. And a Time Warp and a Talisman of Progress. So we have two blue Talismans that are both the opposite colors that we are. So that's cool. I think we're just taking Time Warp here. Could be Dream Halls. And then we can just take big degenerate spells. I do like a Eugene. He has a soft spot in my soul. I wonder if it's Dream Halls. And then we build around it in such a way that it makes Dream Halls work, you know? Then we can take all the ultimatums, which I think is only two. I feel better about Time Warp. That feels more in line with my... Look, another white another white Talisman. Good times. Uh, here's a Consider Sheldock Isle. Sheldock Isle could be good. We could also just be blue-black right now. There's no reason to be the red. Except for this really solid first pick that I got. Yeah, Sheldock is good. Let's take a Sheldock. Hey, good scrub land. We could have been we could have been Esper very easily by this point. We could have had a white blue talisman, white black talisman, scrub land, and something else. 
I have really liked Gix in all my experience with Gix. It's such a fair card, but it's really, I mean, that's what I like. I like playing fair mid-range things. Could also just take a scrub land. I want to play Cruel Ultimatum, and I know I'm going to get it. I, I just know it. I'm going to take Gix. I really like these blue-black mid-rangey decks. Yeah, let's take Snapcaster here. That seems really good. Wow, that's great. Sphinx of the Steel Wind, huh? Let's look, more white cards. I'm going to take Sphinx here. Nothing else is any good for us. Storm, yeah. <gasps> Atali came back? Oh, yeah, that's what we were hoping for. That's exactly what we wanted. All right. Grixis is back on the menu, boys. Oh, Dark Slick Shore came back. Fantastic. The dream is alive. Have you ever lost a game where you landed a Sphinx? Doubtful. <laughs> Depends on the deck. If it's a red deck, no. If it's a green deck, no. If it's the other color decks, eh. Oh, wow, two talismans. Oh, subtlety? Fantastic. Yes. Wow, that is a late Splinter Twin, and I'm going to take it because we're in the colors, but jeez. Jeez. What if we put Splinter Twin on a Tali? That would be cool, right? I guess I'll just take Bolus' Citadel here. That's a late breeding pool. And a regrowth, sure. Well, nothing exciting here. The Cruel Ultimatum is not here. Oh, Creeping Tarp is probably the best pick here for us. Um, Brazen Bar is good, but I'd rather make sure we have good mana. Guys, we're trying to Cruel Ultimatum here. Don't you understand? Don't you understand? There's a Vindicate. I do like a Rona a lot. I like a Necromancy as well. Um, God, Rona's really good, though. This leads to more powerful payoffs, but this, like, literally is necessary to get the cards into the graveyard. I'm going to take the Rona here. Oh, Counterspell. I just like a good old-fashioned Counterspell. Also, Coalition Relic seems great. So does Steam Vents. I'm going to take the Coalition Relic. Guys, Cruel Ultimatum is the goal, okay? We don't even have a Cruel Ultimatum yet. There's a Leovold. And I'm going to have to break... I'm going to break the agreement that we had. Because I want to take this Watery Grave. Don't think it's Cryptic Command. Although all our lands do produce blue. That's interesting. Like, we could just be base blue. Take Cryptic Command? Yeah, I want to take Cryptic Command here. It just feels right, you know? We got a Zealous Conscripts and a Splinter Twin. Plus, Zealous Conscripts is good on its own. Well, I'm, I didn't take Dream Halls because I'm actually playing the Cryptic Command colors. <laughs> if I was a green deck, and you know, I'd be like, okay, cool, I'll take this so I can play it. But I mean, obviously, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to cast it. You know, I got the mana for it. Oh, I like Flooded Strand. I also like Palantir. See, Inspired Ultimatum would have been good with Dream Halls. What does Flooded Strand get? Volcanic Island. I mean, I, I love Palantir. It's been really, really good. But I think I have to play the. I have to take the, the fixing, especially with a cruel with a cryptic command, and obviously we have a cruel ultimatum too. So, <laughs> cryptocurrency command, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's a scam. Oh, grief. Oh, man, I love Grief. Stowaway's good, too, but we're taking a Grief for sure. Man, I hope I get a an on-color Mox in the next pack. That would be wonderful. 
Vendillion click, snap, brain freeze. I think it might just be V click here. I mean, again, if we get fallen, I didn't say, I don't know why I said it. I don't know why I said again. We didn't actually mention it the first time, but if we get a fallen shinobi, V click and Thief of Sanity are both good with that. Uh, wow, nothing, nothing good here. This is a mountain and a swamp. I mean, it's better than, also has a white on there that we can use for your Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Sure. What the hell? Well, well, well. Oh, wow. Liliana came back? Sure. That's a playable lady. Who's that lady? Playable lady. Oh, wow, Venser. Like, we're just getting all of these r cards that I would love to have taken, so I don't know. This is kind of... <laughs> I mean, I, I, like, Venser, Liliana, Grief, and Link. Like, these are all fine. Totally fine cards. We still have another pack. We also have Splinter Twin we can easily play. Also, Flooded Strand, do you get Triome? No, you don't get... Wait, you do. It's the Plains. Wow, Flooded Strand now gets a Blood Crypt. Hmm. Leovold probably shouldn't still be in here, but I will take an Inferno Titan for sure. Uh, Mine Collapse is actually a totally fine card. Sure, I'll take an Iona. People don't respect me. Someone's got like a last pick Leovold and a last pick Nissa. That's solid as well. Magma Opus and a Deceiver Exarch. Ooh, that's interesting. Fascinating. I think Magma Opus might come back. I think we just take Deceiver Exarch, right? We already have Splinter Twin. That seems pretty easy. Yeah, I, Magma Opus is basically basically Cruel Ultimatum, but it's not exactly Cruel Ultimatum. It is an easy Dak Faden. Okay. Well, that I that wasn't even really close. Get a little dackles. This is wild. I also hope the magma opus wheels. Sometimes that's all you want, you know? Just a wheeled magma opus. Oh, there is an on-color talisman and a grim monolith. That's pretty good. I think we just want the... Like, I was going to say I think about the two-drop here, but they're both two-drops. I feel like it is talisman because it lets us cast cryptic. It lets us cast a lot of... I feel like color considerations are a little more important right now. Which feels weird, but... Yeah, I, I agree. Like double, 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 triple, double, 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 double. It's it's all doubles. I mean, Monolith is nice when you get like Mind Twist or like Turn 3 Inferno Titan. But I don't feel like that's where we are. Also, Polluted Delta is pretty sweet. Xander's Lounge is nice too. I mean, we already have Volcanic Island and Triome, which means we can get every color with a Polluted Delta. 
I think we're taking the Delta here. I hope this lounge comes back. That would be very sick. I would really appreciate that if, if that could be a thing that happens. We also didn't get Fallen Shinobi, which is kind of sad. Um, Is it Inquisition here? It's not Tundra. I think it might just be Inquisition. Having a little disruption. Could be nice. This is also only 22 cards. We still get one more playable. And that's if we don't cut anything, which I don't think we are necessarily right now. I mean, even if I put Splinter Twin on a Tali, like, you don't get to keep the the copy, right? Because it's legendary, so it just dies. But nonetheless, you still get the trigger, which gets you two free spells. That's not bad. Through the Breach would be super cool if we were in that. I also wish Talisman or Tropical Island were both our colors, but they are not. I guess we just take Phantasmal Image here. And deck is done. Dax going to give it to you. Oh, an Urtai Resurrected, which I really like. Also a Misty Rainforest, which gets just Volcanic Island currently. God, Urtai was really impressive every time I've had him. I'm going to take the... Oh, wow. I'm going to take the Urtai here. And we can probably cut something for it. Oh, that is an extremely late Treachery. And a late Grave Titan. I mean, we're definitely taking Treachery here. Wow, come on, Xandar's Lounge one time. Wow, this is... This is like an... This is an embarrassment of riches here. I'm going to take Massacre Worm because that guy just wins games sometimes. Uh, Shieldbreaker could be fine just as a way to deal with an artifact. Um, yeah, that seems okay. Shallow Grave. Brinket Mage, we have, like, nothing for. This pack's pretty messed up. I'll just take Shallow Grave. Oh, wow. Remand? That's a playable. Especially with Snapcaster. Well, we did not get the land back. That's unfortunate. I'm tempted to cut the double blue cards and also cut the Deceiver Exarch, even though it is combo-licious. I think I said double blue, I meant double red. This is funny because it feels like I can just cut like red cards. Uh, I think we're cutting Inferno Titan. I think Splinter Twin's kind of narrow with... I think I kind of like this. I think Zealous is good on its own. I think Atali is good enough on its own, and I'll have double red by that point. Because we really only have Triome and Volcanic Island and Relic and Talisman. I think this looks pretty good. And then I can put all of these sweet lands in here. And this is primarily blue, which is great for us. We'll definitely add one. Probably just one mountain. I don't see anything more than that. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 with the Talisman. And then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8. 8, 12. That feels correct because we do have Cryptic Command. What is what is what's the correlation between treachery and twin that you're making there?
One, two, three, four, five, eight. Plus relic is nine. But then we have double, double, double. Double, double, double. I think we're going 11, 10. Or 11, 9, rather. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven with the talisman. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven, nine seems probably fine, especially with relic. And then for red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with relic. Oh, we actually get another land. That's interesting. I guess another island it is. They were not even. They were being. They weren't even being honest with us. <laughs> Yeah, my problem is Splinter Twins a draw where, like, if I don't have either of the other pieces, like, it's just not great. And I think our deck is definitely strong enough to deal without it. We'll see how it, we'll see how it does. I'm going to go without. Because I do think the double red is a little problematic, and the only reason I'm keeping this guy in here is because he costs seven. Like, we only have, like, five reasonable red sources. I have nipples, Greg. Can you twin me? All right, let's do it. Thank you. Fascinating. This is a keeper. Leovold with the resub. Go on two years, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Found you on YouTube and I've been watching you while working from home. Good. Really appreciate it. I can also be found on the YouTube for those of you who are watching not on YouTube. Yeah, you don't get to keep through Drenway, anyway, but you do get to attack with it. Let's Inquisition them. Can you imagine if we target ourselves? How embarrassing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wait, you don't have any blue sources? Oof. That's a big oof. This is an interesting hand. Let's get rid of Bowmaster. I would have loved to get rid of Counterspell, but without any blue sources whatsoever, I'm like... Not convinced to do that. That was pretty, that was a good draw. But you don't really have anything to take advantage of that, so. Uh, let's get Venser here, because I think that's going to be the best thing to, you know, to sneak in. Okay, well, they hit a land, so we still know the four cards in their hand. And they do nothing. I'm glad I got rid of Bowmasters, too, because that would have just been terrible for our Vendillion click. Red source off the top is rough because then they tap this in response and then we just take a point every turn. It denies them the mana for sure, but... But then they're basically just dealing us the damage every turn. I will look at your little hand. Show it to me. They're going to snuff out? No. Uh, let's get rid of Dothy Voidwalker, I guess. That guy is really obnoxious. So the one, two, three, four, five. This is the four we know about and whatever you drew off the Vendillion click hit. All right, well. Land? I was really hoping for a land there, but alas... Poor Yorick. So, oh, interesting. They took four. This is an easier man because we can just get a, possibly get a land here. We did not. But now they got to take another four if they want to kill this guy and go to 12. And they do. Okie dokie. Well, that is, a, uh, that is a choice. And we just drew two cards and did not hit a land. Oh, they just didn't play anything? Alright, this is this is something. I guess we just ripped their hand out, right? We could also just keep subtlety up. What's better?
I think getting rid of this right now is probably the best. Yep. Counterspell, High Tide, Echo of Eons. Now they can Echo of Eons, which is better for them than for us, that's for sure. Okay, but they haven't hit a blue source yet. Hmm, fascinating. I feel like we're not able to take advantage of what's going on very quickly right now, which is very unfortunate. They're gonna go blue source right now. Oh, that's a oh, that's my Xander's Lounge, you little wrist, you little rascal. Well, they're at twelve, so we're gonna definitely get a guy on the board. And then we can time walk. And then ideally we get the Dak fade in here if we hit a red source. See, this lack of red source is exactly why I did not want to add Splinter Twin. I can't even hit one red, let alone two. I think they're realizing that soul transfer is not an instant. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's really good. If we had one more land, I'd love to play Call of the Ring, but keeping Cryptic Command up for when they inevitably Echo of Eons is very solid, because I feel like they're going to do that right now. What's it going to be? Yep, yep. Baleful Strix. Yeah, okay. That seems fine. Fascinating. Do I care about that? I kind of do, because if I draw a red source, we just win with Zealous Conscripts. Cast, counter spell, draw a card. Neon Tokyo, that is the correct spelling of Katie. Oh, we just win. What would we have drawn? A red source. Perfect. Volcanic Island. Then we play Zealous, steal this, and kill them. Yeah, that was the goal. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fascinating. Yeah, the settings for my webcam keep resetting every single time I open it, which is really not the preferred behavior. Oh man, glad the package delivery lock. The package delivery locker fiasco was the name of my hardcore band in college. I will keep this hand. Any hand with like Inquisition and Mind Twist is just totally fine. I wonder if we do it on turn one though. It's always... Always a risk, you know? They mulligan to five? All right, well, that's that's going to be rough. They mulligan to five and we have Mind Twist and Inquisition. I 
Nope, that's the wrong one. No, don't like that. And they're on the play? Goodness gracious. And they played a colonnade. What is going on? I'm going to play this now because if we draw an untapped land, I can call the ring. Oh, fascinating. Let's get Wheel of Fortune out of there. No seven cards for you, bucko. They do have a spell seeker, but they have no other lands. So is that the end? Maybe. Oh, boy. Oh, buttery biscuits. Let's start. Let's start getting the call on. You got to heed the call. Oh, that was a good... Oh, they took two. Wow, what is... Oh, wow, they got... The rich are getting richer over here. That's fascinating. We can mill them for two, but Echo of Eons is pretty rough when you're, like... Trying to... Trying to mind twist them. You're like, oh, cool, thanks for the whole free hand. <laughs> oh, Neon Tokyo, that's amazing. That's amazing. Dubs, pugs. Oh, look, they got Ancestral. Would you look at that? Now I honestly... Oh, oh, we're going to grief and steal it, though. How's that sound? Pretty good. Get out of here. All right, so we know they have Mystical, Soul Transfer, and Echo. They can't cast Soul Transfer. This guy's going to get the, the Call of the Ring next turn. He's going to get Tempted. That's fascinating. What do you bounce here? What? Fascinating. I'm fascinated. This is a solid mold of five that they're they're competing with. I would love to have another um another land that's not a swamp. Appreciate it. Really reluctant to mind twist, then they just get to refill their hand, which is not great. I guess we can Vendillion click put the the echo on the bottom. That's interesting. Fascinating. We can't do it during their turn. We have to do it now. Let's just play this guy. Sure. So I guess we're getting soul transfer. Yogmoss will. I guess we'll just take the transfer. I have no desire to hit <laughs> Echo of Eons here, so. So if they Yogmoth, they can Ancestral. That's an interesting. I mean, now I just might mind twist because this is just going to be a sizable amount of cards in their hand. So four cards, one of which is an Echo. Can we... <sighs> Dang. Well, this is pretty good. I will definitely pay two and draw. 
That's beautiful. Um, let's kill Teferi here. I think we're just discarding Island. Actually, Time Warp feels pretty good here. We can draw another card. Yeah, this is pretty good. Oh, that's good. Um, we could play Gix. One, two, three. Draw an extra card. I don't think we need to, though. This takes... This deals them six. Uh, I don't care about Liliana, I don't think. So what we can do here is Vendillion click the Echo of Eons out of their hand. And then Mind Twist three of the remaining cards. So they have Baleful Mastery in hand. Seems good. Yeah, I'm real. I'm. A, I've been a really big fan of the blue black mid range G decks in this format. Mm -hmm. Had a feeling. Might as well get in there. You can't block. Oh, there's literally no incentive not to. Um. So what do we got? Thank you. One, two, three, activate. Blue Delta. Let's crack this because I do want another blue source here. Easy Volcanic Island. We're still one blue shy of keeping up Cryptic Command, but we do get to keep up Venser, which is probably good enough. One, two, three. Oh, never not DM. Thank you for the for the for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, that guy's good. Uh, let's get rid of Gix here. I think we're we're good on cards. Loved your content since I was a kid. Glad to see you streaming again. Oh god, I feel so old now. I used to watch you when I was a boy. All right, Grandpa. Let's get you to bed. Oh dear. Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. <laughs> I have that I have that song on my in on my computer so uh yeah Uh, this is a, this is a little keeper. This is a little snapperino. Snap it off. Oh boy. So long, Gristlebrand into the graveyard. Oh, two islands. That's fascinating. Fascinating. What to make of that? Question is, do we keep up Romando? Romando Calrissian, probably.
Oh, we made it. We made a fool of ourselves. Oh, if we get one more land, then we can play Coalition Relic and still keep up remand. One more land, keep up remand. That's what I always say. Oh, they're done. Okay, well, this is... Sure, I'll play a little talisman. Wow. All right. I'm okay with it. Just a, just a random subtlety, huh? Put it back. Got a little grief. Wonder if that was worth just leaving on the board. Brugsy, thank you for saying so, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, if you guys want to support the channel, definitely consider following or subscribing. Either one of those is great. Really appreciate you. They didn't do anything again. Um, this is all very fascinating. We know they have subtlety, so let's just play Coalition Relic here. Okay. You got it. Uh, what are we discarding here? Probably Rona. Yep. Oh, now they're gonna they're gonna keep up their subtlety too. How about this? How about now? Oh, uh, cryptic command. Okay. Well, so you know they have subtlety, and they're just kind of sitting on stuff. Maybe they're just playing the subtlety again. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, first blood. They don't have any black mana, so I'm not really super concerned with like fallen shinobi here. They have a lot of mana. <laughs> Pretty curious what they're doing with it. They also have a faithless looting in the graveyard. 
One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Uh, Mr. Confluence. I'm wondering if I should have actually just evoked this, but it seems really good to not evoke it. Oh, look, Mr. Confluence. Yeah. That's sad. No. No. Yeah, I think I could have gotten rid of Gix to evoke that, then keep up Cryptic Command. Oh, they got a time walk. I feel like we wasted too much time on Remand. We should have just played Rona into, like, Thief of Sanity. I think it was a it was a matter of misevaluating our role here. Like we're definitely the like mid rangey tempo y deck where we want to put a bunch of really solid threats like Gix, Thief, Grief, Thief and Grief. Oh, okay, we're just we're just twinning us at some point. Got it. I think I think they might just kill us here. You can get to see Rex Arc, play it, untap one of your lands, time walk, and then Splinter Twin Kiki GKS. Yep, and that's what's gonna happen. It's really taking a while to see the line. Okay. <laughs> Casual Black Lotus in hand. All right. Sure. What? This is not. Uh, okay. I mean, we assume they have the other two, right? This is interesting because if it's Splinter Twin, you don't have... It doesn't have haste. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm going to tap my Coalition Relic. Sure. I'll add a counter to it. I will add triple red with my Black Lotus. Waiting. Okay. Now you're going to do it. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking today, buddy. T -t -t today, Junior? Oh, uh, definitely going to bring in Mind Collapse. All right, so we just have to be a little more aggressive. We were not very aggressive in that game, and that was that was our folly. I don't think they have enough good creatures to really treachery here.
Feels weird cutting a treachery. Let's cut the Atali instead of the treachery. I don't like it, but what can you do? All right. Snap keep. Next time we can go Talisman into Call of the Ring. Which you could not do if this was an Is It Signet, which is one of the reasons I really, really like Talismans. I think they're a great inclusion. And I think they took far too long to adopt in cubes. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. So first opponent had Ancestral, second opponent has Time Walk. Well, let's hit old Narset. I think it's actually Talisman into Call here. Coalition Relic doesn't really ramp us into anything, but starting Call of the Ring and drawing extra cards. Oh, we can't draw extra cards next turn. That's really frustrating. Let's remember not to pay two. <laughs> Good times. Great oldies. You guys ever had these Reese's Thins? They're very good. I feel like it's the perfect size of peanut butter cup. Like, it's very thin, but it's still, like, substantial enough to, to like, enjoy. They're very good. And hunters are like, what do you got? Well, this is a uh, really thoughtful faithful sitting here. And then it was done. Sure. Time walk. Fantastic. Okay, so you have two cards in hand. We don't know any of them. Last time I was in this chat, we were bidding on how much it would cost to be playing sprint. Were we really? I don't remember that at all. Wow, they just time walked and then did nothing with it. That's fascinating. How about a relic? You know, counter my relic? Wow. You got it. A bag of Reese's Thins. Wow. You just took that from right now. That's, man. <laughs> Don't exploit my... I was just trying to share these Reese's Thins with you. Sick talisman. Let's draw something good. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. 
Grief, maybe? Mountain. That's actually pretty good. Do they have anything that can target our guy? Not really. So I guess we can just play our... What does it say? The ring tempts you. And how does that work? Get an emblem and then your emblem gets the next ability. Choose a creature. Choose a creature. It does not target. So that's interesting. It does not target. So if I target it, if I choose it, it better not fucking die. You better not die, you little shit. You have two cards in hand. What are the odds you can target this guy? 1,000%? 5,000%? Okay. Faithless looting. Apparently they have some real decisions to make here. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to keep my shark here alive, huh? Boy, they got some I got some tough choices, it seems. Discarded Island and Black Lotus. Sure. <laughs> oh, man, so rich. Well, I guess they... They got... What? Okay. They got, oh, they play, what is going on? You have one card in hand now. Oh, it's the Ring Bearer and it doesn't even die and I get to draw a card? No, I don't. Don't do that. Narset is still alive. So what are the odds they have subtlety? We have two black sources, so we can't even recast this if they do. That being the case, we still play it, right? Mm, not a subtlety, fascinating. Well, we have no effective way to hit their Narset. Mystical tutor. <laughs> well, it's a good thing Time Walk is in your graveyard, huh? Time Spiral. Fantastic. Well, my one card can't be any worse than the one I have, right? That's unfortunate. Hmm, cool. <laughs> it's, it's good. Not as good as having eight mana and seven cards, though. Uh, just so you guys know, Reese's are not even a Nestle candy, they're a Hershey candy, so you can't call me a shill when you don't even know the company. You're, take your faux anger elsewhere, buddy. Uh, attack Narset with what? This guy? And then they just block with this guy? What does that do? It's like, <laughs> yeah, I guess I should have done that. Then it dies? What dies? What do you... This is a 2-4 flyer. 
This is also a 2-4 flyer. That's not how the ring works. Okay. The ring is legendary. can't be blocked by a creature with greater power. This does not have greater power, so it could block it. Whenever your ring bearer becomes blocked by a creature, then, oh, this, this would have died, sure. But, yeah. I mean, that's correct. I thought you meant Narset would die. And I'm like, no, no, Narset still survives. <laughs> Where did this construct come from? Oh, the 7-7 seven, seven Urza. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. Wait, really? Wait, what? This is surprisingly not terrible for us. <laughs> yep. You're remanding. What did, what did they, what did they remand? They're remanding the the chain lightning. Got it. Okay. Good times. Oh God. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Oh God, this is so bad because like we actually, one, two, three, four, five. Like the, the problem with, with attacking when, when you can't draw extra cards is that now we just have to discard a card. Which means we're gonna have to discard grief here, which is not ideal. Yep, draw a card, can't do it. Discard a card, gotta do it. Yep, that's brutal. Yeah, if we did this last turn, we would have actually prevented them from having an extra 6-6, six, six, I think. All right. Choose myself. Make a 5-5. Five, five. Not terrible. I have a lot of blue mana, I forgot. Yep, all right. Just got regular old-fashioned counterspell. No. <laughs> Cryptic command. What is it? Is it Mystic Confluence? You just drew your Mystic Confluence again? That's what happened? Great. Congratulations. You got it. All right. Good times. <laughs> Sometimes it's just not worth getting out of bed in the morning, you know? What do you think happened to the original Mrs. Reese who invented the PCs and the cups? PCs. I called them PCs, not pieces. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, I bet there's a peanut butter statue to her in Pennsylvania. You know, I feel like we'd know about that. And do you think it was a do you think it was a Mrs. Reese? Mrs. Reese? I'm curious. Inquiring minds want to know. I think I played that first game pretty poorly, I will admit. I think we were trying to play the role of the control deck, but we are not the control deck. Also, there's a bunch of sweet cards from Wilds of Eldraine that I like for, for the cube. I will definitely keep this hand. Oh, we're playing against Stormcrow with a Q. I hope it's not a QAnon supporter. That would be awkward. H.B. Reese. Man, what a... Do you think H.B. Reese knew the effect his cups would have on everyone to this day? Do you think we'd be stuffing them with pretzels and the peanut butter cereal and like the fucking pretzel chips and peanuts and everything else? you think he'd be like okay with us just shoving everything we could into a into a in a peter burke up
HB and Blanche had 16 children. 16 fucking children, dude. Are you insane? Look, man. That's that's not a realistic number of children. Let's just be real. Oh, a, a Dacula. Count Dacula, huh? I feel like we dro we drop Snappy Boy here. We just don't have enough to Snappy Boy. And then you can untap. And then this guy can come on down. They needed the children to churn the child. That is a satisfying, alliter satisfyingly alliterative sentence. Churn that chocolate, kids. I'd I'd put at least one of those kids in a peanut butter cup. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's not. That's not okay. That's that's like the, that's like an even darker version of Willy Wonka. When did HB, how old was he? 76? That's pretty good. That's pretty good for an, for an old timer. Hmm. Let's Vendillion click during their little draw step, you know? And if they want to counter this, we have lots of things to do. Let's discard Atali. He's not happening anytime soon. Oh, that resolved. Fascinating. <laughs> uh, Treachery, damn, counterspell. Blue Sun Zenith, Torrential Gearhulk, Solitude. I guess we'll take the Solitude. His hand is fantastic. I'm very impressed with this hand. Wrath of God? Oh, I guess Dam is a castable card for you. Sure, that's fine. Um... I want to hit lands here, so I definitely want to treachery and try to hit, or uh, not treachery, but you know what I'm saying. I think Dak Faden is probably pretty rough, but we do get to take a Torrential Gear Hulk at some point. So that's interesting. What are we playing around? Blue Sun, treachery. We have, we actually, we're getting rid of like four cards here. Yeah, let's just get rid of their whole hand. You guys like that? I guess they get to keep one card. Lucky Ducks. What did I just get rid of? I just closed one of these cards. Now I gotta figure out. Wow! <laughs> That's hilarious. You drew one fucking card off the top and it was a force of negation. That's absolutely incredible. It was Torrential Gear Hulk, and that's the one they exiled. So, wow, that's phenomenal. Wow. That's mind blowing to me. Yep, and now you got a blue for everything else in your hand. <laughs> Good times. They they sure they they sure do always have it, don't they? Even when they don't have it, they get it. Just simply the best. Man, I felt like that was a really good sequence of plays. Force of negation off the top. It did twist them for two of their choice. And they got to keep Blue Sun, Treachery, and Counterspell, which is pretty good. Well, that's that's cute. Yeah, 
You gonna counter this? Sure. So we both have treachery now, too. So it's basically blue sun and treachery versus cryptic and treachery. One, one, two, three. Activate one, two, three. If we get one more blue source, we can start attacking. That ain't it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't really want to time warp and let them draw four cards. Oh, are they just going for it here? They've changed their mind. Never mind. <laughs> I was thinking of something else. Okay, subtlety. I feel like I'm playing a control match in standard. Oh, this is actually great because we get to steal the blue the blue sun zenith. Wow, that's really good. And it just kind of, kind of presses the issue here. Oh yeah, let's get it. That's a negative Ghost Rider. <laughs> Solely treachery in hand. That seems good. That seems good for us. All right. Just a big treach. Talisman. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, th we can't activate and time warp. But we can keep up subtlety and that seems pretty good. My win condition cannot be treacheried, you see. So planeswalkers and creatures are good. Yeah, that's fine. So if we actually play Subtlety end of turn just to play it, six damage, time warp, six damage, and then we get to keep up. This feels correct. Let me guess you drew an answer. No. Land. Beautiful. What is this? Wow, hardcast force of will. Fascinating. I guess you had to, but I mean, boy, you've got force of will, force of negation, counterspell, treachery. They're going to treachery now, which makes sense, because otherwise you're very close to death. But then we get to treachery back. Oh, they're going to preordain first. This is, this is an emotional roller coaster. Fascinating. Very interesting. So we know you just have treachery. What can we get back with Liliana? Is there a creature that we care about? Uh, a Tali. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. We're one shy of just casting a Tali. Oh, we can actually go Snapcaster and then Cryptic Command. Well, that's interesting. Four, and we have one, two, three, one, two. We could treachery something. That's free. So just so you guys know, if we steal the sower back, they still get to keep subtlety. It's not dependent on who controls sower.
Hmm. One, two, three. I think we do Lily here. We plus Lily. Because now they don't have any threats. And then we can get in there with this guy again. And then next turn we can get back Atali and actually cast it. Yeah, they can take it back, but it, it, it's a turn that Lily gets to survive. And it, it gets to waste their treachery. And then we can also go Cryptic Command, Snapcaster Cryptic Command, get back... Uh, we can just bounce our, our own subtlety back to our hand. And they have no cards in hand now. They play, Did they draw land? Because that's pretty sick. Oh, they did. That's great for us. That's, that's probably going to lock up the game, I imagine. So here's the thing. We could just attack for three, or we could just play Atali, which seems much cooler. I'm here to I'm here to do cool shit. Oh, a channel and a coalition relic. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, might as well cast the channel, I guess. I'm actually shocked they have channel in their deck. Resolve. Resolve. Um, so we can actually play this for two. I guess we'll just play a Venser and bounce the, uh, the subtlety to our hand. Uh, black. So we need a black and a, yeah, we can't do everything this turn. Man, you're even channeling non-green decks. I don't care what deck I'm playing. Um, We could either attack with this and put them to two. Or we can bounce this. But we can't do both. I think we're bouncing this. That feels more correct. All right. This is where they go like, oh, they just drew land. I guess it's a land they can draw a card from, though. Look at this mana base, man. You got it. They drew something. Teferi? Solitude. Wow. Okay. That was a good draw. So long, friend. Friendo. And that's the end. Oh, it's not the end. I should have actually got Sower. I, I forgot that they would gain the life. I got really excited. I apologize. One, two, three. Whatever. They're dead next turn. And we have a subtlety. Yeah, that was a misplay. My mistake. I in my head I'm like solitude gets rid of their solitude more cleanly. It was a, it was a, it was a cleaner kill. They couldn't get it back. It would be gone forever. Yes, I also could have copied Vents. No, I only had two. I can't copy Vents or else this guy died. I guess I guess I guess I sacked this guy. Yeah, you're right. I had two chances. I messed up. Two out of three. I chose I chose the 33% option that, that messed it up. Where's the justice, you know? Embereth Shieldbreaker. 
there's no way to view the game, right? You can only do that in Arena, where you can like see the battlefield again. <sighs> Remember that time we went to Mind Twist their, almost their whole hand, and then they were like, "No, no, I top decked Force of Negation." Jokes on you, dummy. Every time I play Subtlety, it just doesn't impress me. I feel like it, I want it to because I feel like that whole cycle is very good. Solitude's insane. Grief is insane. Uh, Fury is insane. So, solitude, subtlety, only being able to hit creatures and planeswalkers is just so prohibitive. Endurance is good. I think endurance is very, very good. But that's more of a sideboardy card because not everyone cares about the graveyard, whereas like the other three are just main deck all stars, you know? The other three deal with, the other, two of them deal with creatures at any point in the game. One of them deals with cards in their hand, which is always an issue. But sol subtlety only deals with cards, like two specific cards when they're on the stack. And endurance only deals with graveyard. So they're a little more limiting, but they're both, I mean, endurance is still good. I keep wanting to bring in Mind Collapse. I think Embereth Shieldbreaker might be decent just because they had... We saw Grim Monolith. What else did we see? Did we see anything else? I think we're probably okay like this. It does make me wonder if we want to just board in Splinter Twin as like a... A little sneaky win, you know? I'll keep this. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Reasonable. Two drop. You know what? That lets us play a lot of other things, so I'm totally okay with that. Oh, they're going to play a Teferi? I actually don't know what this is. Touch the spirit realm for no targets. Zerda. Fascinating. Do they have Grim Monolith and can they go infinite with that? They can. I mean, we can't really do anything about that. So I think we just have to play Coalition Relic here and cross our fingers that they don't have any. They can go infinite and then they blue Sun Zenith, I guess. They don't have three blue, though. Okay. Soul Herder. Fascinating. Okay, so we'll have one, two, three, four, five. We could have six mana. It means haste until end of turn. So, I'm tempted to go Gix and Liliana here. We could also just keep up Urtai. Conscript Soul Herder doesn't really do much though, right? We steal the Soul Herder. At the end of the turn, we can choose to blink it, which gives this guy a counter. And then we steal something else, but that's... Till the end of turn. And then they get, we have it back at the end of their turn. Which is just fine. I don't know. That doesn't seem super exciting. It 
it does keep them from having this guy and we get to deal six. Actually, that's not terrible. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I, I think we, yeah, we'll take Soul Herder, that's fine. Oh, we just get to trade for Zerda. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, I think they're just hurting on lands here. <laughs> As if that weren't obvious. Oh, boy. Well, this is fine for us, I guess. If you like that sort of thing. We'll say a blue. Let's go get a volcanic island, I guess. Or a regular island. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven mana so we can keep up Urtai and play like Liliana. Oh, we can also keep up Cryptic Command here. That's pretty good. I wonder if we can survive long enough to ultimate Liliana, because that's always pretty sweet. Can I come show my newest create crochet creation? Wait till the end of this final game in the final in the final round. <laughs> oh boy, this is Yeah, this is this game's pretty much over, I think. I don't want to be presumptuous, but. We have double counter spells up here. Swords to plowshares, huh? That's fine. Gix is not a huge part of our plan. Wait, what? How did he get... Oh, whenever a creature is exiled, period. That's interesting. I've never seen that come up before. Hmm, fascinating. Let's say blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we don't have enough for everything, but we can play both of these or this and this. I guess we just play call here and then we keep up whatever we might need. Hard cast force of negation. I feel like we cryptic command here, and the reason is I don't want to Urtai because then they're gonna draw a card. I'm going to go up to five with the goal being to ultimate Liliana in two turns. Fingers crossed that we can do that. Triome is good. It doesn't really allow you to do more than you've been doing. They did not play Soul Herder. That is fascinating. Well, that is fascinating as well. So we got one, two. We're very short on blue though. We could use more blue. Oh, 
Oh yeah, because it's a one one. For some reason, I thought it was a two two initially. Like I thought it was like a base two two. You're correct. Smart. One, two, three, V click. Show me your beautiful hand, my friend. You're gonna play a solitude, but I'm not gonna let that come down because it's a good creature too. Oh, we're gonna counter, just counter a spell. It's gonna be this guy. Now he's gone. Vendayan click resolves. Oh, look at this hand. Do you have two blue? You do. So you can counterspell, can't cryptic command, soul hurt, I don't care about touch, torrential so or treachery. What do we have? Jesus. What do we care about? I think treachery is probably the biggest threat to us right now. Because we're going to plus this to seven. They get one turn and none of these cards actually stop us. Cryptic Command actually does, if they draw. But if we make them... No, this is going to the bottom. Yeah, we'll take Cryptic Command. That seems fine. So we took Cryptic. We know of these six and one more. We also get to draw a card this turn, which is kind of good. This guy. Yes. Man, where's the manas when you need them, you know? One, two, three. We're missing one blue for this for this snapper snapper daddy. Oh, I, um, we can loot here. That'll do it. All right, great, great, great. Now we can keep up cryptic. Island plus. And pass. Yeah, their hand is also super expensive. Except for Counterspell, which we don't even care about. Okay. So we know six of your seven. Force of negation is in the graveyard. Do you think do you think force of will is one of the one of the, the one of the two cards they've drawn? <laughs> okay. This is fascinating. None of these are instants, except for Counterspell. So I am going to charge this. Yep, this is fascinating. Okay, they've changed their mind. Same guy. I will draw a card. Are they going to gear hulk here? To swords? Urtai. Oh, wow. That's a good draw. <laughs> that's hilarious because they have counterspell in hand. But they don't have double blue. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, double blue does seal the deal if they don't have force of... Or, no, they drew Urtai. Urtai's the draw. So now we know their whole hand. Oh, and that'll do it. 2-1, not too bad. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you. Subscribe and follow. Do the things, you know, the buttons to press. Check out me. Check, out, check me out on Twitch. Check me out on YouTube. Whatever you want to do. It's up to you. All right, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.